Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my ReactJS course. In this video, we will try to implement how to do the lazy loading of the routes. Now here, if you try to see in this page, we are going to uh, we are we are moving from about to contact and post, and we are trying to move from one page to another page. So that means when we are moving from one route to another, we are loading the appropriate component which is responsible for that route. So at the initial stage, when we load this page, so the contact component and the post component is not needed for us. So but we are trying to load it uh, before only prior to that uh, visibility uh, visible only of that component we are trying to load this component right so now when i click on this component at this time i need the co contact component so if i am loading if i am clicking on this post at this time i need the post component so before that i don't i don't i don't want to get these all components so in this case what we can do is so we can implement the lazy loading okay so why we use this lazy loading means in order to decrease the bundling size so if we decrease the bundling size of the js so we can we, the performance will be increased if you are if you are dealing with the big application so there will be a lot of lot of components involved in this one so if you bundle all the components into a single js file the js file size will become more so in order to decrease the js file size we will implement the lazy loading of the components and also we can implement the lazy loading of the routes also so first we will do we will try to see the lazy loading of the component and also in the same scenario the lazy loading of the routes also the same scenario it will be so let's try to see so here what i am trying, trying to do is in the post.js what i will try to do is here i will create a new component so that is nothing but the lazy load.js file okay here i will create lazy load.js in this one what i will try to do here i will create a functional component lazy load of props and in this props what it will do is return view and here i can write lazy load component okay so this is the lazy loaded component now in the post.js i will try to load this one so how can i load here so div so here in this div i can write something like lazy load okay now this lazy load component has been loaded now what I will do is so I will create a toggle button at the top here. View, view. What I will do is here I will create an anchor link href toggle uh, toggle component or something like this. I will create and here I will create one variable such that state state thing so constant sorry show component comma set show component so this is the component name they are all spelling mistakes okay let's let's clear those all things so this is the variable and the for setting so i will create something like use state this use states and i am keeping the default one as a false so this is the state variable now what i will try to do is so whenever the user clicks on this one on click i want to change this one toggle the show component so here i can write something like set show component sorry set show component of not of show component so if it is true means it will become false if it is false means it will become true so this is the thing i am doing and here what i will try to do is i will try to add a condition here in a such a way that so if show component is there ampersand ampersand and i can copy this div load I can paste it here so if it is true only then this lazy load will be loaded now if you try to see the output let's try to see the output if i try to see the output here so first time i am loading this one okay first time i am loading this one so when i load this post component here i am able to see the button toggle component button i am able to see this toggle component button if i click on this toggle component so now the lazy load component is loaded so now it is fine perfect the, the logic is working fine but here if you try to see if i first time if i load this post component i am no way concerned about this ladies lazy load component so why because there is no need for me to do, do load this lazy load component so but here indefinitely in the in the js file we are automatically loading this js file just we are showing it on off the user may click or may not click on that uh, link but we are pre predefinedly getting that all the lazy load component so this one will be a performance issue so now what we can do is so we can when the user clicks on this uh, component uh, link toggle component then only we will dynamically load the js files which is responsible for that lazy load component and we will be showing that one so how to implement that one and how to implement is so first what we need to do is 
we should not do this import lazy load like this so what we can do is here i will try to do constant lazy load is equal to so here we, need, we will be having a method that is nothing but the lazy it should be imported from the react and here it will be accepting a method so this is nothing but the import and here you will be writing component where it is there so lazy load inside this lazy load i will be having the lazy load okay so i am having this lazy load now if i have i am loading this lazy load component directly so if i try to see here if i try to load this one okay in the post.js if i try to load this one the so first time so nothing is happening okay fine and if i click on this toggle component so here i am getting some errors so here i am able to see some errors what is the error it is saying so the lazy load component it is saying so there is no fallback ui so what is this happening is so now at this time this lazy load is not present okay this lazy load is not present so when when we are doing this lazy lazy loaded so the loading the loading has to take place right so in, uh, by the time the time required the time the time which is uh, having that one so we need to show the fallback ui so the loading will be taking care so be in between this uh, loading time we need to show the fallback ui so, so for that reason it is showing the error so what we can do is is that one is so we need to write a method uh, we need to write a tag that is nothing but the suspense okay suspense so here you will be writing a suspense and here you will be mentioning like this okay in this suspense what we can do is so suspense we need to mention the fallback ui so uh, by the time the uh, uh, what we can say the lazy load component js file is loaded i will be showing the fallback is equal to and this one i can write in a such a way that you and here i can write loading okay so first when we click on this toggle button so it will show you the loading by the time when the lazy loading of the js file loading is completed then it will show that lazy load okay now if i try to see this page i'm doing this one if i click on the toggle component again we are getting an error so what is we are getting an error is so here we need to remember that so the lazy load.js file should always be the default okay so only the default components which are mentioned only it will be loaded now if you try to see the same thing now if i click on the toggle see i am able to get the lazy load component okay so this is how now if you try to go to the js file also so if i do if i remove this one and if i mention cart uh, empty cache and reload let's try to see whether the js file uh, new js file is loading or not so if i click toggle component here see i am able to see one four dot chunk dot js is loaded so this chunk.js is responsible for having this lazy load component okay so this is how we will be loading the lazy loaded component not only for this components we can also use it for the routing also for example if you go to app.js here in this app.js we are having all the routes which are responsible for the routing so these are all the things we need to make it as a lazy loaded so how we can make it is so we can remove these all the things contact single post home everything we can remove and about also we can remove okay and here we need to write in a such a way that constant about is equal to so lazy we can use this lazy and in this lazy you will be having import and here i can write in a such a way that component slash about slash about.js okay so we have loaded the about and in the same scenario we will be loading the contact and in this contact i can add something like contact and here i can add contact so here in the same scenario another one what is it post and not found right so we can add the post here we will be having the post and here also post and here you will be having another one is the not found not found not found and here you can write not found and in this one also you will be writing not found okay so we have mentioned then all the components lazily loaded so under the next step what we need to do we need to add a suspense so why we need to add a suspense is until and unless the we, uh, that loading time will take some time right so uh, before uh, before that loading time so taking some time so by that time we will show the fallback ui so we we can keep we can keep the suspense for all the multiple lazy loaded routing also so here the suspense let's import it from the react sorry yeah it's even there and we need to use the fallback so 
so now i can add something like div loading okay dot 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 so what if you want to give a component you can also you can also add a component also it's not a problem so this is the thing what we have did what we have did and here we need to check that and another thing what we need to check all these components which are which we are loading the lazy load components it should be a default so if you go to the about.js let's check so about.js we need to add this one as a default you need to remember so now oh here we are having the default right so not a problem the contact here we need to add a default okay these are all should be default only so lazy load post post.js is it default not a default so we need to add it as a default so not found also we will check the not found ones so is it default the not found this one is also not default so these are the default okay now if you try to see the page let's try to see the page here and if i go to the contact see another chunk.js is loaded so if i go to the about 2.js so chunk name is loaded if i again go to the post already the post component is loaded so that is for that reason it is not loading if i go to the contact and so only once the chunk js will be loaded and every time it will be not loaded okay so this is the beauty of the lazy load so we have did the lazy load for the component and also the lazy load for the what i can say for the routing also and another thing what we can see is so here you will be able to see the 0 2 and all those things so if, we, if you want to keep the name also you can keep the name how i can keep the name is so i will add it to one component so here i can add in a such a way that so here you can add star that's like this and here i can add webpack chunk name is equal to and i can add here something like about okay so this is the name how we can add this one so if you try to see if i refresh this one let's try to see whether this one work or not if i click here still not working one second let's try to see so i need to keep uh, like this i think okay we pack chunk name now if i try to refresh now see if i go to the contact and if i try to refresh So now if I do the about, no, it's still not loading. So let's try to check, check once time. React webpack chunk name. So we will be having some name. I don't remember. So code splitting, these are the things. Let me check once again. So we got the issue here. We should not give the is equal to. You need to give the like this let's try to check the output here i'm able to see. and let's try to check the output if i go to the contact and if i try to refresh this one if i try to refresh the page okay and here if i go to the about see we are able to see this about.chunk.js so we are able to give the name for the particular chunk also if you want you can copy this webpack chunk name so whatever the uh, dynamic imports you want you can keep like this so for this one i can keep contact like this we are we can also keep for every chunk name contact so that it will be a named, named chunk names we can keep it okay so now if i go if i empty a cache and refresh so here you will be able to see the output and here you will be able to see this about.chunk.js is loaded why because the default route here is loaded is about page and if i go to the contact here the contact chunk is loaded and if i go to the post so as we have not given the name for this one so 3.chunk.js is loaded so in this way so now if you click on this toggle component again four dot chunk is loaded which is the lazy loaded component so with this is this is not a routing lazy. so this is where we will be implementing the lazy loaded in the react js so you need to you need to remember one thing is that the components which we are doing the lazy load it should be a default export so the component should be a default export and also another thing what we need to do is so when we are implementing the lazy load and now we need to give the suspense so that is the fallback ui where, uh, so the loading of the chunk.js so, so instead of loading that one so it will it will show you that fallback ui and then and another one what we need to remember is that one so if you want to give the name so you can use this webpack chunk name so if you want to give the chunk name okay so this is about the lazy load in the react js so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you